Hey, um, uh, whew, how do I start this? Hey, it's Bro You Wack, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So, as you can see, there's no Overwatch. Like, there's some Overwatch stuff, but it's not. Get, you see my awkward little. Little, little tiny hand right there. Today we're doing a little like vlog thingy and today I thought it'd be a unique idea to kind of just show you my uh, my Overwatch collection and no I'm not doing this to like brag or, or, or try to flex on my ex because I don't have any that love me still. <laughs> I'm just doing this just to show you guys a big part of my life you know one thing I love like, just love in general is Overwatch but one thing I love collecting is just Overwatch memorabilia and that's definitely something I do have and I thought some of you guys would find it interesting what I what I have what I've collected over the past golly almost two years and maybe it'll inspire you to get some of it. I'm not sponsored by anyone because <laughs> Who'd want to sponsor my ugliness? So I think the first thing you want to check out is what's in this little corner right here because it's all it's all pink and stuff. So the first thing that you might see is this Pachamari. Now normally what you can get is like the regular green white Pachamari, but I saw this on Instagram and I thought, oh my god, I have to get it. So I ordered it and I'm so happy I did because it's literally a Pachamari that's diva. What's more cute than that? Wish my ex-girlfriend thought. Anyway, so yeah, I'm so happy I got this. It's just like a little tiny plus. It doesn't like. It doesn't squeak like it does in the games, uh, but right under it is probably one of my favorite uh, just clothing items. One because it's so freaking expensive, but also just because I, lo I love the color pink. Pink is, I th yeah, it's my second favorite color, and I absolutely love it. I don't know if it does it justice in the camera, but in real life, this jacket is just really, really freaking pink. And you might be wondering, where are you at? You're a guy. Why are you wearing pink? I don't, I don't know, man. I just like it, okay? And it has D.Va on there, and it has the uh, the nerf this right there. But what I love is the arm pieces. So the uh, APM TV Korea, the, the fighting logo. I don't know what that says, because that's in Korean. Uh, the Blizzard logo. And then on this side, right, cha, we have Mecha. Mobile, EXO Force. So you already know what that means. So, yeah, I absolutely love this jacket. It's pretty heavy also for how light it looks. But, yeah, I just throw, like, a light sweater underneath it. I wear this and I'm cozy. Wish I could share that warmth with someone. Anyway, but next we have probably is one of my favorite plushes of all time is little old Snowball. Like, ah! As you guys may or, or even may not know, I love May. She's my favorite hero, and Snowball is her little companion that she has. This is actually the ultimate. Like, yeah, here, go, go, freeze. God, I'm such a loser. There's a lot of cool features about this. One, how cute it is. Two, the, the ears can like form. There's like a little tiny wire in there. So like if you want to close, you can close it. If you want them up like that, you can. It can spin like, woohoo, I'm freezing everyone. I'm going to kill them and whatnot. But the coolest feature of all time, you might, you might see these aren't, well, you can see right there too. These eyes, oh, that looks so gruesome. It actually can, <laughs> can be a detached. So I think there's six. Well, let's count. There's, there's one, two tree four these are stuck okay five so i think there's five and all you gotta do is just like oh god you just gotta slap it on there okay that's a terrible and it fell actually there's six of them and that's the reason why it wasn't sticking because it's stuck to get but it's just like a little velcro patch you just do this and there you got a new set of eyes that's me if i ever <laughs> Get a girl's number, which I don't. So that's Snowball, but you might see here that this um, isn't uh, over. It's actually Snorlax, but he's just kind of showcasing my beanie. Uh, this was actually a gift given to me, and I love it. I love pom-pom beanies. I have a big collection of them, but, you know, just I thought it would be cool just to throw it on my little Snorlax. He's my favorite Pokemon of all time, and it fits him. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just throw this at the side of my bed and cut it with him later. Anyway, so here's just a few of my pops. This is a few. A, like over 50 item collection uh, but I will show you my other, my other pop collection because it's behind me actually but here's just some of my favorites Mercy's part of wave 3 it actually has a stand that's lodged in her back that's Mercy here's Reaper this is part of wave 1 one of my favorites Diva also one of my favorite pops uh, of all time just because okay so you can lift the little thingy up god this is so hard with one hand and it has a little tiny baby Diva ah! I just love how they add that little feature they they could have just made like a regular Diva pop with just Diva in it but no they made a mess and it made it be able to just man I need a girl next let's actually show my clothing well I already showed my diva jacket that's probably my favorite but here's just a few of my clothing items the first two things that you probably see is two Houston Outlaws jerseys now this is just like the regular first inaugural season black nothing special about it just something you could have picked up at the beginning of the season without no customizations I really do like it the black goes with everything I'm emo so like 
it goes perfectly. But here's actually the, 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 the Way jersey. And what I love about it, how I actually got it customized with my own name and my own personal number. If you're wondering why I, well, can I show it? I chose number 10 because that was my volleyball number. I would choose 69 because I'm just that much of a loser, but you know, Cool Matt already has that number. But yeah, I love that it has Bro Uwak on the side of it, and it also has it on the back. So there's Bro Uwak. I, I can only do like 10 letters, so I couldn't add the spaces, so that's kind of sad. And then the uh, the number 10. They're not stitched on. It, it's just kind of like, I don't know what you call it, but you can see right there that's just like, it's part of the jersey. It's one with the jersey. B with the jersey. Lonely. Now let's actually look at all my Overwatch shirts. Those are my jerseys. I really love those jerseys, but I, as you can see by the hangers, I have a lot of shirts. So let me just kind of lay them out. So here's the first shirt that you saw on top. It's literally just May's face. It's not my favorite shirt, but the material is just really like, what is the material on this? I don't know if you can see, but 60% cotton, 40% polyester, but these Blizzard shirts are so amazing. They're such amazing quality. Here's just a plain Overwatch shirt. This was actually a gift given to me, and I still like this shirt too. Uh, it kind of shrunk a little bit, so it doesn't really fit my uh, body type that well. And here's a few tank tops that I just now recently got, because, you know, it's summer and you're trying to impress some of the ladies out on the beach. Here we have Soldier Stenway 6, but probably my favorite out of the two has got to be this Diva tank top. Again, it has a lot more pink, and people will say, oh, pink's such a feminine color. It's like... Doc, just leave me alone, alright? I like pink. Uh, but yeah, very simple. I just love how the pink really contrasts well with the baby blue. It doesn't have anything on it like how my diva jacket says nerf this. Uh, but yeah, just some tank tops to try to impress the ladies. There is a Lucio tank top that's all green, but green just really isn't my color. Even though I have a bunch of Houston Outlaw stuff. But what I think is my favorite piece, I say that for all my colleagues items, but has got to be this May shirt. So it's just a plain black shirt with just this May um, picture printed onto it. Little cute little May with an ice cream cone and ice cream sundae. Diva and Tracer popsicles that says May's ice cream shop. Oh, I just absolutely love it. Like I say for all my clothing items, they're all my favorite. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it, but yeah, I love. I just love Overwatch clothes, man. They're so unique. I'm just like, oh! y'all think Supreme is the next big thing? Nah, fam, it's gonna be make clothing items. <laughs> but here we got a few more key items. Get it? Cause I have keys. <laughs> love me, please. But here we do have a May keychain, and I just love this little keychain one because it's very thin, so it's not like bulging in my pocket, making me uncomfortable. And two, it it's it's really cute. Look at without a little mouth and snowball right there. Kind of like look at Eva or something from Wally. -E. And here we have my wallet. Ah, this is one of my best purchases of all time. It's a very simple Diva wallet with the Diva bunny and Diva logo right there. And here you can see it's a very standard wallet. There is where you can put pictures of you and your boo. If I had a boo! And then there just has the pink Overwatch logo with a few card holders right there. Ooh, let's see how much money I do. Dang, them YouTube checks haven't been treating me well, but that's... <laughs> I, I absolutely love this sign because one thing that you might not know about me is that I don't like to spend money, and I had the same wallet for, like, golly, like, eight years or something, and I saw this in the stores, like, I think it's time to get a wallet because with a wallet, you're spending money to hold your money, but you don't have any more money because you bought the wallet. <laughs> But let's talk about another cool item that I, or items that I do have. So you might see right here is just this big giant diva backpack and this thing Best purchase I ever met. I was very scared because this was an expensive backpack. I'm not gonna say the price, but it was very expensive. And I thought, man, I better use this. And I use this all the time when I'm traveling, when I have my laptop, when I have my microphone. I'm always using it. But here I just have little knickknacks too of like keychains. Here you can see probably one of my favorite keychains. Obviously, is gonna be May. Originally, I just thought about just putting the little diva backpack hanger right there. But I thought, you know, I have all these little tiny keychains. Let me just deck it out in all of this. And I do have a lanyard with all these, uh, well you can't see it right there, with all these Pachamoris, like there's the anniversary event, there's the regular one, there's the uprising one, uh, there's a peach one, the anniversary, and I think that's all of them. And over here at the side we also have another backpack hanger of McCree and Widowmaker. Widowmaker was my very first one, and another ba uh, lanyard, not backpack, 
lantern, it's just a lanyard, and also the Overwatch logo. None of this comes with a backpack, they were just all added for me. And here we actually have some Funko Pop keychains of Overwatch uh, characters. I kind of like the, the, the Funko ones, just because, I don't know, they're a little bit more solid, and they're also smaller, and a little bit more cuter. Now, this is Reaper, he has a little scratch on his nose because, like, this is just constantly just swinging around and hitting stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is Reaper from the first wave, his Tracer also. They only made two keychains from the first wave, the second wave didn't come with any of them, but then the third wave came, or the fourth wave technically, and Mercy came out just a couple days ago, but now there's gonna be like six different Overwatch keychains coming out with the, the fourth wave of like Winston, Lucio, Summer. ah, oh, it's insane. Can't wait for that, but here is Mercy. Uh, she just looks so cute. Wish I could find a girl that this cute man. And also, another May backpack hanger. So yes, I, I do have uh, two May backpack hangers because one was actually a gift, and then the second one I just got on Amazon, and I was like, okay, well, let me open it. And they're blind backs, so you don't know what they are. And sure enough, it was me, but I'm okay with that. Now, over here, I just thought I'd throw it in, but this is actually my Genji mask that you constantly see in, like, my uh, my skip videos that I'm wearing with, like, my pajamas or my Outlaws jersey or whatnot. So I just thought that'd be funny. It's like a, it's like a memento of my... Cringiness. And then of course right here is the Widowmaker skin that I spent $20 on. So I had to throw that in my collection so that I seem a little bit cooler. But yeah, I just got that on eBay and I, <laughs> this was such a dumb purchase, but I'm kind of glad I got it because like, I, I don't know. The price is only going to go up from here. And of course, I have to include the Overwatch game, the thing that started it all. This is my original copy that I got on eBay and man, I'm, I'm just... This is my prized possession out of my collection because this started everything. My channel, my collection, brought you guys into my life. I'm not trying to sound corny or nothing. Now, real quick, I did want to show my pop collection. I'm not going to go too in-depth because I already made videos talking about my pop collections wave by wave. But here's just some of them out of the box. I do take them out of the box because... They're not gonna, their value's not gonna be preserved whether I leave them in or out of the box just because they are so common, unless they are exclusive. We just gotta fix this real quick. These are some of the exclusives. I know I'm missing like the Emerald City, City Pharaoh or the, 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 the Sporty Tracer one, but the ones that were reasonably priced or ones that I could easily get are displayed right here in the box. Some are from GameStop or Box Lunch or even Loot Crate right there with Widowmaker. So yeah, I am an avid pop collector. As you might see on my Twitter, follow me on Twitter if you're not. And here's a few more right there. There's the Blizzard Store exclusive, the Walmart exclusive one. Tracer, this is a Think Geek exclusive, but it was sort of GameStop without the sticker. I, I don't know why. And also, that's one of the coolest N64s ever! But out of all my pop figures, I think my favorite has to be my custom sparkled made May Pop. So this is a one of a kind that I actually did make, and, and some of you guys might not like it, but you know, it, it's something that I made, you know, and May's one of my favorite heroes, so I spent dang near three hours <laughs> just making this, and you have to imagine how much glitter there was, dog. There was so much glitter on my setup. It took me like eight years to clean up, but it was well worth it. And I think I did a pretty good job. I see a lot of custom pop figures on Instagram. And I thought, hey, well, let me make a sparkle one. Because one of them, I won't show my whole pop collection, but one of them is like the Dumbo sparkle one. So I thought, hey, well, let's make a May sparkle one. And that's exactly what I did. But anyway, guys, that is my Overwatch collection. I showed you guys my clothes, my pops, even some of my trinkets and whatnot. And I just really want to thank you guys because if it wasn't for you guys this wouldn't have happened this channel would have happened and I probably would be not doing YouTube but because you guys support my dream and just love what I do I just thought I'd just show you guys kind of uh, another part of my life and this is a big part of my life overwatch and collecting overwatch stuff this video is gonna go on for a long time if I don't cut it off here so one last time from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much I know they're just a couple of trinkets or whatnot but th this means a lot that you guys support me because I'm able to get some of this stuff so i love you guys thank you guys for watching more overwatch videos to come and bye